Coming up next on Columbus Connections, it is Black History Month and the Columbus Community Orchestra is going to do an amazing concert honoring Dr. Martin Luther King. We'll tell you all about it. Stay tuned. Welcome to Columbus Connections. I am your host, David Britt, and it is Black History Month, and there are a lot of great events that go on honoring the, the work of African Americans in our community. But we have, I don't know if you are a music lover like I am, but the Columbus Community Orchestra will be putting on a great concert honoring Dr. Martin Luther King right here in Columbus, Georgia. So we're going to talk about that. I have Dr. Bill Fry with me, who is the conductor. And we've been talking about a little bit of music history uh, before we started on this. Yes, we, yeah, yeah. yeah. We, so, we've crossed paths uh, pretty, pretty closely at the same school. Yeah, yeah absolutely. I was, a, I was a band student at Rothschild and Kendrick, and Dr. Fry taught there and knows my uh, early band directors. But yeah. tell us about, first of all, the Columbus Community Orchestra. Yes, uh, the Columbus Community Orchestra, not to be confused right. with the Columbus Symphony Orchestra that plays at Bill Hurd. But yeah, we're a community orchestra in all sense of the word. Um, we have uh, uh, retirees, we, we have business people, uh, all volunteering and wow. uh, enjoying making music. And uh, one of our big concerts during the performance year is the Martin Luther King Legacy Concert. Wow, the Martin Luther yes. King Legacy <laughs> the Martin Luther King Legacy Concert. Yes. Uh -huh. yeah. right, so tell us when and where that's going to be. Well, it's coming up at the end of this month, to coincide with the end of Black History Month, and that's going to be at Rainey McCullers School for the Arts, and that's on Monday, February 27th, awesome. 7.30, free, open to the public, and uh, we'd encourage a lot of folks to come out and see it. Wow, that's amazing. And this isn't a brand new thing. You guys have been around for a while. You've been doing this concert for a while. Well, the, the community orchestra has been around since 1999. It started as a small string group, and just over the years, it's grown. Uh, it started at uh, one of the downtown Presbyterian churches, and then it, it moved to Covenant Woods uh, mm -hmm. Retirement Home as a, as a rehearsal site and performance site. Then Hardaway High School, uh, as the orchestra was growing, and uh, now for about the last 10 or 12 years, our, our permanent home has been St. Mark out on Whitesville Road. But we've been doing a residency here the last couple of concerts at Rainy McCullers, and so wow. that's where we're, we're gonna be. Wow. And that's a yes. great place to be. If you've oh, never yeah. been to Rainy yeah. McCullers, it's an awesome facility. It's a wonderful performing arts school we're lucky to have in our community. And they have a great area, they have a great area for you know, these type of performances. Yes, uh, it's a wonderful theater. Yeah. And uh, that state-of-the-art equipment and the acoustics uh, are beautiful. Um, yeah, lights and uh, uh, they can put uh, slides up on screens mm -hmm. and it's just uh, it's a top top act. Yes. Uh -huh. yeah. yeah. Tell us about the the concert and how it's grown and and how it came to be. Well, um, the one one perf one aspect of our one of our patriotic performances was a a feature number of uh, I have a dream speech where we took some excerpts from I have a dream and put it with some music wow. and and that was just one song that we did in Pops Barnes uh, the, the voice of Martin Luther King uh, did, did the narration to that and it was a very interesting part of another concert uh, we did that for one or two years, uh, but then we decided to expand that idea to do an entire concert mm -hmm. devoted to the memory of Martin Luther yeah. King. In the early years uh, of doing this, around two uh, 2015 or so, we uh, actually did the concert on the evening of Martin Luther King holiday. But we found that because uh, that was coming pretty close to the end of the holidays, that we didn't have really enough rehearsal time to, to do a 100% jam up job. Right, so gotcha. now, now what we've done is uh, moved the, the concert to the end of February to coincide with the end of uh, Black History Month. But we took that germ of an idea and expanded it into an entire concert. 
and it's um, really been, been, been great uh, to, to look at the, the legacy and uh, uh, tr a tribute to, to Martin Luther King, yeah. That's and awesome. And we, we do that in, in terms of uh, words and music, of course, um, maybe some little drama skits, uh, a poem that, that might be uh, mentioned. So it's uh, a little different than your average concert in right. that we have a lot of, lot of things going on there, but uh, it, it's really grown into a nice production, yes. Right, uh -huh. it definitely sounds like that. And yes. it's great that for those who are familiar with the symphony, to those who may be a bit of a novice, you have so many, th it's, it's so many different types of performances and so much more going into it. Right, right. This is not going to be a, a full-length concert of classical music. Mm -hmm. We have concerts that do that, right. not, not this one. Right. Yeah, Absolutely. so this, we're, we're going to be jumping around a lot from music to narrator to a little skit to, uh, I mean, it's just going to be a, a fast-moving concert. All. Um, all in the in the legacy of uh, Martin Luther King. Yes. That's amazing. And this this particular concert I, I might mention is especially important and significant because this is the 60th year of the March on, on Washington D.C., where is. the "I Have a Have Dream" a speech, speech was, delivered. was delivered. And so, um, Pops has been doing that that um, collaboration with us, where he uh, narrates. Uh, uh, portions of, of that I Have a Dream speech, but now it adds on really great significance because now this is where he, uh, where uh, Dr. King actually mentioned uh, uh, or d delivered the speech, and now we have uh, a 60-year theme that we can look at for, wow. for this February, yes. Uh -huh. Wow. How can more people find out about the orchestra? Well, we do have a website. Uh, not, uh, well, we do have a website, but uh, basically uh, check us out on, on Facebook, um, Columbus, Georgia Community Orchestra. Um, our, our, our information is there. Um, I'll leave a poster with you, oh, and, and maybe you can run that on the, the government TV. Um, or you can call 706-575-5371. Uh, and uh, we'll, we'll get some more information to you, yes. Uh -huh. Awesome, awesome. Yeah. So again, give me the dates and the times and the location. Once more. Right. Um, it's going to be Monday, February 27th, uh, 7.30 in the evening. It's free and open to the public, and it's going to be at Rainy McCullers. Yes. Right. Rainy McCullers right here in lovely Midtown, Columbus, Georgia. A beautiful uh, tradition, a beautiful uh, ceremony, a beautiful thing to do to celebrate Dr. Martin Luther yeah, King. Yeah, so stop, yeah. Let me run that back. Excuse me. So, Monday, February 27th at Randy McCullough School here in the beautiful Midtown Columbus. What a beautiful way to celebrate Black History Month and to honor Dr. Martin Luther King. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It is beautiful. Well, thank you so much for joining us. Well, thank you for the opportunity. Yes, yes, and we'll hope you'll come it. back whenever you have anything else going on. Yes, sir. We'll do. Right. Okay. Well, we'll, we'll see you all Monday, February 27th at Randy McCullough's. And thank you for watching Columbus Connections.